Brian Barrett. I am the principal architect on this project with Fieldstone Architecture and Engineering. I'm Kathleen Farr. My husband Rocky Farr right. and I are the homeowners. I both have a science background, so while we know nothing about the engineering side of things, we appreciated being uh, included in some of the discussions about these very technical aspects. Right. It was it was a learning experience for us, and you made it seem right. very very simple. Right, right, and certainly it's a team effort, and, and 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 you're right. The the integration between the architecture and the engineering, um, and in an artful way, um, and, and it comes off in a, in a simplistic um, massing of the architecture. Uh, although it looks simple, it's, it's sometimes it's, it's very challenging to get to that to that that uh, that elegant result that we're looking at. And it certainly is uh, a marriage between the architecture and the structural engineering and mechanical engineering. All of these systems uh, that go together. And we had a phenomenal team that did all of that. Right. We had all of the, the right input from top to bottom mm -hmm. uh, that did make it seem seamless to us as the owners. Right, right. That started right from the beginning. You know, Kathleen is a very artful person, and uh, and that was certainly important. And, and, you know, the final envelope in the architecture was certainly the artful side of the project, but certainly there's a science behind it. Um, the, how this building was going together um, and it's really cutting edge technology and some of the design principles that we employed with your approval and, and your input um, we were really pushing the envelope with not only the energy efficiency and the lead um, goal um, but really just the, um, the the envelope itself that you know, the the, um, the parts and pieces and the different building systems um, was um, was pushing the envelope you know the uh, the, 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 the envelope itself is a Herkiwall system, which is an ICF, which is an insulated concrete form, um, which was uh, a developed technology, uh, is an emerging technology that's, uh, that's, uh, that's really evolved beyond what, what ICFs have been over the last 20 years, and it's a panel system. So, you know, figuring those types of uh, new systems out, um, as well as the geothermal system in the house and uh, coordinating the pre-engineered trusses and floors with the with the duct work and those layouts and understanding you know the impact of the grade beams and uh, what what amounted to be a uh, concrete crawl space under under this under this home um, were all technical challenges that that uh, that really we employed some um, really forward thinking technologies to, uh, to to solve some of those issues so site had, uh, as, as Kathleen mentioned, had some con some uh, some challenges to it. Um, you know, uh, the, the, it's a double lot. We had the, uh, the two very large live oaks right in the middle, right in in the middle of the of the site. So that was a constraining uh, uh, design element, as well as the the setbacks, the side, front, and rear setbacks, uh, coupled with the tree locations. Uh, pre you know, really defined the uh, the floor area and the envelope design of the, of, of the project itself. Um, you know, again with the trees, it was, um, we had constraints with the, uh, the soils. You know, as you know, we, um, this house is, is on 60 foot uh, piles, uh, concrete, poured concrete, gray beams uh, that span over the roots. Um, the flat roof, mid-century modern sort of style came from not only necessity and and it was sort of a style that you all had kind of gravitated to early on, but it also lent itself to stay uh, below the tree canopy itself. Um, so we were we had to stay above the roots, below the canopy, and uh, we had this wonderful geothermal system, which you had started early on in the project for the, for the for the original structure, and that actually was on, on one side of the property. So. We, we, we couldn't build over there. That was another huge concern. You know, so we needed to move over here on this side of the property, which was which created the elongated shape and the C shape that C really shape. starts hugging the tree. And that then that was that was a wonderful paradigm that we always like to uh, to band around in the office is uh, not only we have a tree hugger uh, client, <laughs> we have a tree hugger home. Uh, you know. <laughs>